What do you think? Oh, Mead, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially the Lomid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello? Cleaned up. I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Please stop. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. 
You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. More smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. <sighs> Just our luck. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise, We need to find a group. People we can trust. We've been on our own for too long. Trust? You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold, or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit.
here alone, in the middle of nowhere. Yes, sir. If you haven't been a how many people are you with? Hate to see someone get hurt. Now hold on. I could be setting you up. I'm by myself. You're obviously with someone. Where's your group? Don't fucking lie to us! Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit! He's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. She's not saying. You expect us to believe you're out here all alone? What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Get the fuck over here! Now! Fucker. I'm out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! Krista, are you there?
Hey boy, it's okay. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. What's the matter, Sam? Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay, he's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. I think he had himself tied up. Or did someone force him to do this? Stand back, okay? out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Still 
pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? <sighs> well, here we go. <gasps> oh my god, thank you. Look, Sam, a can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all.
I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? Okay, I'll take that as a no. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. Now for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <coughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? <sighs> no, it was a dog! I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. It was. I swear. Swearing doesn't make something so... No, no, no. I'm telling you the truth. Please. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Hmm. Well, all right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit.
working with Carmen. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Whatever it was, it got you good. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. Why are we doing this? So fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. <sighs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Not much left in here. <sighs> I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. You just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't need any more. Get it? Now go. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just... tired. You're not with Carver? No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person? No. I won't forget that you helped me. I bet you won't. Promise. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitch? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies in lockdown. And we don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get. I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I'll do some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? He's got his book. 
He doesn't need to be a part of it. getting infected. That man from home. This baby. <laughs> let it be okay and let it be his. something not friendly. Come on, please. Fine, but I warned you. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. Sarah. 
Okay. I better get somewhere safer to do this. Fun part. Get in here. 
Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else, that your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out, but one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Hey, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro. That was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. So, since you're pretty much on your own, What's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is 
What happened to just about everyone's parents? You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, well I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. What? Who? Don't pull that shit on me. I'm not my husband. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Yeah, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him and then I hear him start whining he turns to me and he says I can't do it I can't shoot it Uncle Pete please don't make me shoot it hey why didn't you wait you want us standing around while you piss on a tree you know where the river is boy anyway so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off when bang the gun fires boy nearly gut shot me and of course the buck gets away what are you going and telling her this shit for cuz you almost blew her face off yesterday seems relevant trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you why are you always giving me a hard time because you're always giving everyone else a hard time I apologized already she accepted you're always trying to embarrass me you're doing a good enough job of that on your own 
leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! One of these folks might still be alive, and they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. We shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Fine. Just... just lost my footing! Damn it. God damn it! Shit! Ah! 
workers! I'm out of ammo! Come on! Come on! Jesus! Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my Piggly Wigglies, of course. Ugh, bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. The keys are still in it. Well... Worth a shot. Out of gas. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. You got a light? That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait.
Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <laughs> Jesus, stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. Yeah, I can't believe I'm going out like this. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. <sighs> All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. my nephew you have to try I said go god damn it go Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. to cheer you up. Isn't this the best? 
What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? They're just... fishing. I know that's not true. You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? As long as you don't tell your dad. I won't, I promise. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I, ca I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and, and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Or is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. A big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. 
Got a few tents up and everything else. And like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. How long have you been there? Been there for a good while now. Really? Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. It's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Don't come back! You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. 
All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. Unbelievable. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. I'll try to cut you some slack. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Uncle Pete! Pete! Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. Mm. 
And I'm worried about that kid. Well, keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Come on, Clem, it's family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay.
Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You're the one holding a gun. Touché. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. 
If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Don't shoot! Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... 
Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. see a key around here. That man probably had it. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Feels pretty good. Thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. And fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point.
Made it. Ah. You see anything? It's really dark. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... 
it's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Reminds me of school. Crazy. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? 
You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's going to be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then... If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. It's kind of our little war. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat.
You okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Jesus Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your damn arm off. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? You heard me. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, 
As long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? None of your business. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it, hon. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... Do you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh... Keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh... There's nothing, man. I just wanted to... Check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it! It's over! I have to tell him, Luke. What? No! You can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. 
I gotta do this. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier. Something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I, I shot Matthew. But it, it, it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Walt, what's going on? That sound's gonna draw walkers! We gotta shut it down now! Hey, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell! Scan the trees with me.
Something ain't right. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us! Get inside! Go! Clementine, are you okay? What the hell? Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Look at this place. You believe this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. Fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Ah, the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window.
Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Ah! Rebecca! No. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. And Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Don't hurt my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. Oh! Yes! Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, we never did listen. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Let's see if I can get your attention. God damn, it's dark. Can't see a fucking... <laughs> for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Just give up. 
Kenny, he'll keep doing this. Think about Sarita. We're coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. I used it to talk to my parents. Is that why you're looking at this one? Do you want to call mommy and daddy? I don't need it anymore. My parents are dead. Everybody's parents are dead. And that don't make you special. My dad's alive. And we're all grateful for that. Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? 
the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit, Doc. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him. Maybe we should wait. Maybe come up with a different plan. I... Okay, Hunt. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody... Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right. Up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, I need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt 
that we will continue Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped to us see you, but when we ran away. So what happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All oh, right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. But, like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Listen, you seem like a nice enough guy, but Carver is a fucking maniac. We're busting out of this place as soon as possible. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens... I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and 
Chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. But then Reggie will get in trouble. If you don't make a bunch of noise, I'm sure he'll be fine. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Reminds me of the jewelry store. <clears throat> what the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids, they love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning. But that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. I'm so tired of Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. 
I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but... I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... Probably. I don't know. I never been to prison. Don't tell no one. Trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. I figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. 
I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's kinda ugly. Really? I thought it was kinda cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia! What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Hey, are you okay? I know it's, it's gotta be hard. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no! You didn't do any of your work, Clem. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? 
Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Well, that's where you were wrong. I shouldn't have to hit people. But I do know plenty of people who need to be hit. He told them, he was like... What's wrong, Sarah? Enough already. Exploring is for those who fall in line. I got no use for the other one. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of please, chances. Bill! No! 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 Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Stop fighting. I want to, Clem. But this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done. <laughs> shit!
Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Your blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. Hey, hey, what was that for? You scared me. Well, I'm sorry about that. And it's about time you got here. You have any idea how hard this was? All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get y'all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes, sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah, <sighs> yeah, I'm fine, okay? Don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being lean. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. 
Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? Couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to, but I ain't worried about that anymore. It's not your baby, it's Alvin's. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Alright, now. Bill? You there? Yeah? I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of him. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. 
It was plenty loud, though. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. This is nuts. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. It seems pretty flimsy. This plan? Yeah, I agree with that. Clem, it's you or nobody, so you're nominated. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. You go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, I was just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? Yeah, I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really?
You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Cute little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, let's go. I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You ain't supposed to be out here! You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up! Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? 
with treachery, with deceit, with theft. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah. Okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down. Bandaged it as best I could, but until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. We are not leaving him. I can... I can make it. I'm all right, hon. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right.
All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We can meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Why is it always me? Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Be careful. Hey. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Alvin! Alvin? Are, are you okay? Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? No, 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 no! No, where are they? Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Alvin! Are... are you okay? Carver talks all that tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> There's something funny about that. You have the project, we have the know-how. How? Come on, we have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No, we're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've... I've run out of road. Let's... No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. And until we do, 
You're not going anywhere. Get back. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Oh, God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. You don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. No, I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Atta girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You old mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second of it. Let's go. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Come on, we got enough to worry about. Man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit, I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here, you're gonna need something. Thanks.
You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Do it quick. We need to get covered before the rest <gasps> of them get close or we're fucked. This isn't gonna work. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Okay, now you. Turn around. It smells gross. Shit. Everybody shut the fuck up and get covered. It'll be okay, honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost what on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start... Hey, 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 hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did, but now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here, together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- <laughs> You shove a dick up! Come on. Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! I need more ammo! We got this, y'all. Is that Tavia? Where's Bill? We need him up here! Stay calm. Shh. It'll be okay. Don't worry. We need more ammo. Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Oh. Dad! Oh. are saying you're gonna be fired. She's gonna turn, man. You gotta let go. No, no. No. What the fuck? 
did you do? What the hell is going on? Why? Why? I'm sorry. I had to do it. I don't want to lose you. Please, Kenny. Stop it, fucking kid. Supreme Kenny. Damn it, man. Come on. It's on your head, Clementine. <laughs> I know! What do we do? Luke was with me, but... I can't do this alone! We can't stay here with We need to keep moving. Look! The walkers are still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to... Oh. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. Thank you. Thank you. We need a clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? There. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Jane! Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. Please. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just go. You guys are fine. Just go. You think we should spread out? You spread out. You said you would stay with me. <laughs> Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. A what? You'll see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you.
Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. We need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Just, uh, how pregnant are you? I don't want to be stuck out here. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides... Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. I tried to talk to Kenny and he flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita. God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? 
What's wrong with Kenny? Why's Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do? Because of you. Sarita is dead, and you're telling me you did all you could do. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, and it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. Well, you all can do whatever you want. You're driving me insane just sitting here. I'll go find your missing friends. Clem, come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. 
You could have. What, what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no, it's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Um, stuff? Stuff? Just stuff? Well, you already sound like a teenager. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. You never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah, off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no... It's... Nick. <laughs> Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? That 
That's what I'm afraid of. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Pick out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Trick, huh? They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. I got you covered. No, 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 no. Come on! Keep it going somehow. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Hurry! Help me block this. Hurry! Luke! 
Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He, he made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clown. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then, while she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. God damn it. What? The sideboard. Oh, shit. Clem, you and Luke push. I'll hold this door shut as long as I can. On three. One, two, three! We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do. And it's not going to work. Sarah, please. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> Clem, please! Go. Sarah. Come on. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? 
When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him! Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. Wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. 
And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Oh, fuck. Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? Oh, God. Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea, Mike. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us!
Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Подожди, подожди. I just want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Nothing. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially маленькая девочка. Uh, a little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay, I am not going... Ah! Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes? You must we don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bosha. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. 
Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <clears throat> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. Yeah. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from...
Well, that happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Hey, guys. Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! Oh! Oh, shit! Grab it! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe no! like I told you. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Clem! Clementine! Oh. Shit! Walkers! How they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Sarah, get going. About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh... What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a sec. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh. Shit, is she, uh... Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. 
Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Ha <laughs> 
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. Both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do, like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. You'll see. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. you'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I 
Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Keeping people alive. Uh, uh, oh. Over here, there's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. And not just right now. Don't get all bent into a pretzel. I was just trying to help. People are too damn sensitive sometimes. Hello? What is this? Minas Lishnan! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please! I don't like this. Everybody keep your eyes open. Hello. You're Clementine. What's going on here, friend? 
You got people with you? Where are they? You're not out here on your own, are you? These are my friends. We stay hidden for safety. But you, we know. You're Clementine. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Do I get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? What's going on? There were two before. Not here? I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто не оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it! I'll do you it! Do. Drop don't it. even drop try it, motherfucker! Don't fucking, I guarantee don't move. I'm a better shot than move. you are! I'll drop you both they before you can play! Everybody be cool! This doesn't have to go down like this! Don't shoot! But you don't look like stupid people! Let's just think about this! I don't want to have to do this! We can work so well if nobody does anything stupid! Don't make me do it! Look at me! So Do you hear me? You I will kill you if I have to! Don't 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 point at me! out there. Good work, Clem. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <coughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. Just stay down. You're gonna get your head blown off. We can't just sit here. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker! I kill every one of you! If I could just get over to that side of the wall, I could maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? I'll try. Yeah? Well, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? All right. I'm my go. Go! Hey! What are you... Luke, are you okay? Oh, he got me in the leg, but I, I, think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, that was the atmosphere. 
You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! Отпусти меня, прошу. Я должен быть с ней. I said, shut up! I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now! Ты замочил Наташу. Ты ублюдок. Он и так покончит. Ты ему только поможешь. Get out here! Перестань, отпусти меня. Я должен посмотреть, если здесь все в порядке. Stop squirming, damn it! Сукин сын, я оставлю медленно тебя истекать. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. I didn't think it would be. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Are you sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He's just a scared kid, man. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. <sighs> we got something to tie this shit bird up? Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Oh, 
Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. Come on, slowpokes! Wait, we need to stop. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I guess I should work on that. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Sitting in the snow, lean up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm. Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining mostly, trying to guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. Well, that'll have to wait a bit. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. I don't know if he'll let me. He may not, but you ought to try. That's gonna sting. 
but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. You can do it. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Cause I think I'm alright. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? So... I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. Uh, holy fucking hell! You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, is that smart. Maybe he won't need to be that tough by then. He'll grow up fast enough in all this. Yeah. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit! Is that it? I thought you said it was a house! Where are the supplies? Where's the food? It's a house! It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. 
I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. I think we should spend the night here, if it's safe. That's a big if. Well, there's a fence, which would help with walkers. Maybe. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and... All it being your birthday and all, figure, this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, time. wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well... was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. You sure? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. 
Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right, all right, it wasn't 10 minutes. Come on, we got a little one around. Sorry, forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, well, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time.
time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. There, there, little guy. Clem, I'm starting to think she might be a bad influence on you. Girl your age, it ain't right. I know you think you're older, but you're not. Not to me. It's all right. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. No, it's true. But I... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Conscious face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. I can handle watch on my own. You should come, too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. 
And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Say it it an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first. Since he's so confident. It's okay. Okay, don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. There's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! God, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! Should let you drown, you piece of shit!
Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh! No, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. The walkers are almost here. Hurry! Yeah, no. You ain't helping. You need to help. No! Clem, go! Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're blind! You Stop can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No! Now! Clem, this is too dangerous! He's gonna yeah, die! I just need Clem. some more time! You guys gotta hurry! Just fall through! Thanks! Thanks! I'll be out in a sec, just. just keep shooting! They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. You could have. You could have helped him. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! The hell it ain't! Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Kenny! Fuck you. You mother! Fuck you! Fuck, Kenny! Kenny, stop it! Just stop. What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it.
I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, uh. You got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up and be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem. You know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, 
I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here, other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny is a carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. 
So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? What'd I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it! God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. If their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look. We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know, you're right. I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. And to keep my hair short. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, 
Well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. All right, Clem. Walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Why are you doing this? He didn't give us any choice. I'm sorry, Clem. Just give me the gun, Clem. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll shoot. There we go. There we go. It's fine. Just... No! Clem! Oh my god. Jesus! Oh god, Mike, we have to go! Just leave her! Oh my god, Clem! What the fuck did you do? Clem! What did you do? works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. 
Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? Maybe. She's kind of crazy. I don't know. She wouldn't make it very long out there alone. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes, that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. That, I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. She's awake. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. 
Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them! You listen to me! You mouth off about my family and I will fucking end you! Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over! I can't take this! What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker! In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have Diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? Kenny. That fucking asshole. God, I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried. But I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live in your life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there!
You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Oh my God. He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! Stop! Please! Let go!
didn't have to kill her, Kenny. I'm sorry, darling. But I did. I'm right behind you! Thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted the baby around. She, she made that clear. Yeah, I, I guess, but I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right, buddy. Hey, listen. I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. By the time I got my head straight, it was too late. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. Come on. Let's put some miles between us and this place. Just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. You cheated! Holy shit! We did it, Clem! That's... That's gotta be it! I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it! Looks like a big wall. What? Out here? In the middle of nowhere? No. That's gotta be it. What are we waiting for? Come on! This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We'll finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny, and this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. 
Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change you in a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. But, but we have a baby. This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. But just take the kids. What? Please. Just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. I'll... I'll ask. I... Just give me a second. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are! It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please. I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. The thing about Alvy here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Good people. They, they don't have to look at you and feel ashamed at what they put you through. Please, Clem, please. No! We're leaving! All of us! Together! Clem, please. It's safe here. You need to Stop. think about the- Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop! That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group, but... Look. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh, sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. You're as stubborn as a damn mule. Yeah? Wonder where I got that from.
Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. If you like to support and donate to the Game Seekers, please visit here. Kofi.com, The Game Seekers. Thank you for your time and kindness. I had a great time with you. I hope to see you soon. I, Eva, AI Navigator of the Game Seekers. Signing out.